Ibrahim says in the chat room, how do you go to the pigeon? <laughs> so asking how we can get pigeon set up to use uh, the chat room via uh, an IRC client such as Pigeon. Pigeon is a great little application that's available cross-platform. I use it on Ubuntu Linux. It's included with the operating system. It's basically like your buddy list. It's, uh, it's this guy here. So it's, it integrates basically all of your, um, your chat applications. So that's MSN, IRC, ICQ, AOL Instant Messenger, uh, Google Talk, all of these things on one buddy list. So it's really nice you don't have to have a whole bunch of mul you know multiple programs running all at once, so that's uh, it's very sleek, very clean. Um, and one of the nice things about it is that it supports, as I was saying, IRC. So, if we want to add uh, the Category Five Technology TV chat room to uh, our Pigeon application, now we'll just presume you've already got it installed. It's available uh, at pigeon.im. Thanks, Thomas Gilling, in the chat room, uh, posting the link to that. Uh, you can download it from there. If you're using Ubuntu, it's already installed, but you can also install it uh, using Synaptic Package Manager on multiple different uh, uh, Linux operating systems, so that's an easy way to get it as well. Um, and always the best to get it through the, through the repositories because then you get the free updates and things like that. So just looking at this application, I'm not going to zoom in too much just because I respect the privacy of uh, the people who are on my list, uh, but I'm just going to hit Manage Accounts under the Accounts menu. So I've got my buddy list up, Accounts, Manage accounts. Oh, and it looks like, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm able to just minimize the buddy list. Okay, so then we just click on the Add button, and you'll see that we've got a choice of protocols. Look at all these things that you can use with Pigeon Instant Messenger. Hmm. So, you know, whether you're using Yahoo, you know, if you ask about can you use Yahoo uh, chat on your Ubuntu system or your Linux system, well, you can access at least your, your chat and your buddy list and everything directly through Pigeon. So yes, it can be done. Yeah. Um, so just looking at what we want to learn tonight is connecting to IRC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go username, just enter something there unless you've got something registered. So we'll just go with Edelbert. Uh, and we're going to go to irc.freenode.net. That's the server that we use. So now once I've done that, if you have a password, you can enter it. That's if you're a registered user on Freenode. So then that's going to add that uh, to your uh, active accounts list and it's going to automatically connect you. Once you're connected, you're going to be able to co join our chat room. It's very, very easy to do that. So that's now connected. All I have to do is go buddies, join a chat, and then you'll see that in your drop down here, edabert at irc.freenode.net is one of your available IRC options. And we're going to go join channel number category 5. That's all we have to do, and then you just hit join, and you will be in the chat room. There won't be any lag or anything because you're actually connecting through Pigeon as opposed to using the web-based chat, which can sometimes have some lag because it's, uh, it's a CGI script, I believe, something along those lines. So uh, depending on how many people are in the chat room, the web-based can lag. So. Uh, Agamotto asking if people still use ICQ, and definitely uh, there are a few. I still have my ICQ number from when I was just a teenager. Uh, I've held on to it all this time. And uh, AOL Instant Messenger, a lot of people uh, still tend to use that who are anti-Microsoft uh, MSN. So ICQ, thy bod, is, uh, is an old Instant Messenger before MSN was popular. And uh, it was bought by AOL and turned into or migrated in with AOL Instant Messenger, but uh, old ICQ numbers still function as well. People saying that, uh, Mr. Scary saying that he uses Trillion when he's on Windows, very similar in that uh, Trillion was around long ago, uh, a same sort of idea where it supports different protocols, uh, but it's available on Windows as well. 